Oh, I do feel things for you, Michael. But now I think it's pity. For the first time since I've met you, you seem so helpless. You used to hold me prisoner once. Will you try again? At this point, I feel no love for you at all. I never thought that that could happen, but it has. Maybe I lost. It wasn't a miscarriage, and you, with your cunning, you couldn't figure it out. It was an abortion, an abortion, like our marriage is an abortion, something evil and unholy. Eight hours? Yeah. So, you could really use one of those plug-in telephone headsets, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could. Uh, shouldn't we all expect the Christmas stuff to be stolen from the office? You shouldn't. So, uh, bye. It was uh, nice meeting you and all. Nice meeting you too. Hey, wait. What? I was, uh, I was just wondering how, how you were feeling from the fall, you know? It hurts. My ass is purple. Yeah, it was pretty funny once, uh, once I realized we were gonna be okay. Good for a laugh, anyway. That's not what I meant. Anyway, look, I'm gonna go. Um, take care of yourself. Me too. Wait. What? Fine. Joel, what do you want? I just want you to wait. I just... I just want you to wait for a while. Okay. Really? I'm not a concept, Joel. I'm just a fucked up girl trying to find my peace of mind. I'm not perfect. Can't think of anything I don't like about you right but now. But you will. You will think of things. And I'll want to leave because I will feel trapped and that's how I am. Okay. Okay. movies or listen to music, kind of just like putting myself in that world and kind of like believing I'm in that environment, it really takes away all of the stress and anxiety that I'm feeling throughout the day or in that specific moment.